Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today's reading is going to be focused on your person's current feelings for you. I was getting a really interesting message that was channeling through, and the first one was that you really inspire this person. You have inspired this person, and you've really inspired a lot of growth in them. And I want to say spiritual evolution and expansion. It's actually really beautiful. Um, there is, I feel, an issue between you and this person or something's wrong here because the other message I got was that they will make this right. What that means, I don't know, but they will make it right. Um, they are very determined on fixing things, proving themselves, and honestly, uncomplicating things as well, which I actually like to hear. And no one likes complications. And this is someone who's looking to untangle themselves as well from something. I am seeing like a web or some kind of cords that they have attached to them, but nothing too serious, really. Um, is there anything else about that? Um, I do feel some of the cords comes from their lineage. Um, I am seeing the father side coming out the most. So there is a cord to do in the mother. Um, it, it does impact them. You know, those those entity cords that we have or those, you know, per, um, those patterns, right? Um, I feel like there's a big impact there. I definitely do with the father. So strong with the father as well. Um, it's to do with love. I actually feel like this person's father um, either ran away from love or abandoned them. I don't know. It's one of those. It's real interesting. Anyway, let's see. Let's see. So can you tell me, um, Metatron, uh, can I get some channel messages on how you want to start this? We have the sacral chakra. I did just do Leo's reading. If you do have Leo in your chart, check that out. Um, Sacro Chakra came out with what do you want? Um, you've inspired this person to look deeply within themselves, to ask themselves the real big questions. Who am I? What do I want? And that level of introspection needs to be, huh? Most of us are conditioned, right, to look at our outside world and produce or hmm, um, be from the outside rather than the inside. Um, this is someone who, when they met you, you really ah, you really inspired them to ask those really big questions. Who am I? What's going on deep down? And honestly, what do I want? Mm, it's beautiful because it's leading them in the right direction for their fulfillment and happiness. I, I want you to decide. I feel here, this is in the middle. So for both of you, both of you want the other person to do something about this connection rather than well, themselves. But this person has, and I just saw two to two on the camera. It's all about balance out the masculine feminine energies. I also see life path too. It's being standing out or sorry, standing out as well. Um, I think they're leaning towards fixing this though. But I think for a while, you've been in a pattern where both of you wanted the other one to do it. We have for you the eighth house um, for transformation. You know, it does feel like you've changed a lot, but I see you purging this person, purging the situation, purging this connection. Um, it feels like well, a little bit of scorn energy coming through. I'm believe it like that. Um, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it is, uh, I, uh, I learned that very early on. You cannot tell yourself you don't love this person to move on. You have to learn to move on with loving them fully and completely or moving forward with your life fully and completely knowing you love them. I know real tricky stuff there, but that's where you're at. You are doing it and you're doing it the right way. Um, you're not telling yourself those stories. Uh, you're not telling yourself the nonsense, right? Uh, you're not telling yourself what everybody else says. Get back on that horse. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You know that crap everyone else says. You're doing it the right way, which is through purging, transformation, healing, and honestly, death of the ego. Um, I see you. Uh -huh. I see you both, actually, in really good trajectories, and it feels like you will come together. I am seeing both of these missing each other, and uh, so many times, so little time. Know that... If your path ahead has them, you'll get to them no matter what. And I feel that. I feel that. So I think that there's a lot of um, worry about choosing the wrong thing. I know it sounds real crazy, but there is no such thing as the wrong path. Everything leads you to the right one, and it won't stop doing that, all right? So let's get some uh, cards here. How does this person feel right now about um, a Virgo? How does this person currently feel about Virgo? How about Virgo at the start? I keep doing that, but they, they feel like you're a missed opportunity. They never offered you their cup. You know, they didn't want to. No, they never did. It feels like there wasn't too much there and they didn't bother trying. They did feel the same way about you. It's going over the high priestess energy, which I feel both of you were a little uncertain when you met each other, what it is, sorry, who you were and whether or not you wanted each other. You know, there was an intense connection here, but I feel like you may have been looking at logic or maybe who, hmm, who they were presenting themselves to be or maybe even their own interests to decide if you're compatible, that connection is all that you needed. And it feels like you weren't anchoring in that one at the time. Know that follow your heart is why that's so important. Again, you both feel it. 
that you there's an intense spiritual connection here. You both feel it, right? That's all that matters, right? We also have you deserve someone better than me. This is coming on on your side. I feel this is coming towards you're projecting this towards this person. You want the best, and if it's not them, it's not them. Follow your heart, okay? And I have bad bad role models, yeah. I am seeing a childhood issue coming from this person. They blame their their mom, parents specifically, but I see the mom. I keep getting that one. Um, hmm. It's a sovereignty incarnate, right? Creating the life that you want. This person is going to be creating the life that they want. Um, huh, it's funny. I think you both are. You know what's crazy here? I'm just going to put this out there, and I swear I'm not trying to get false hope. I swear I'm not. But it really does feel like you both are heading in two different directions. That's going to lead you right back to each other. And how the hell that happens, I don't know. But that's exactly what's going on here. Um, I gotta be real honest with you. It, it really does feel that it feels it feels intense uh, as well. We're two very different paths that you you know, um, yeah. It, it is what it is. Uh, it, it's so crazy. So let's see. Can you tell me? Is there any other feelings that this ha person has? Anything else that you want to say, Metatron, about this person's feelings for Leo? No, sorry, Virgo. I just did Leo. Uh, we have courage coming through. They do want to have the courage to make an, you an offer, but this isn't it. They need courage to face that rejection that they feel they'll face when they see you. Hmm. Very interesting. We have progress coming through. Um, we also have independent. Yeah. They've really witnessed and, and seen your progress, your transformation, and honestly what you've created for yourself. Know that that means the world to this person, um, that you're growing, that the situation between you and them didn't break you, didn't sabotage you, didn't stunt your life. Um, they are trying to look at it in a way of it actually encourage your growth. I do feel it did. <laughs> we have safety. Mm -hmm. um, they feel safe with you, but this is them in their little playing it safe energy. Uh, we also have transcend. They do want your connection to reach higher heights than it ever did before. They're very intense on that, by the way, which I'm going to get their intentions in a second. We have sharing. Who They need to have the courage to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. They don't have that quite yet. Yeah, I can see that. So let's look at this person's um, intentions right now when it comes to Virgo. When it comes to Virgo, let's see. Thank you again, Virgo, for being here. So this person's intentions for Virgo. Let's see. We have two of pentacles. Create change here. They want their choices to be different choices than they made in the past. It seems to be very key for this person. Um, hmm. How do they ensure that the choices that they make are choices that they um, choices that they make are, are choices that are going to lead them in the right direction? That's following their heart. Um, they do try to be practical as well. They try to. Um, it, it hasn't served them that well, though. So I see them moving out of that, right? We have the star in its reverse. One of the things that keeps this person from reaching out to you, and I do feel there's disconnect, is um, they don't have hope. We have the ten of swords reverse. They want regeneration here. They do want regeneration here. Um, hmm. I don't know. It, it just feels like this person... I think at the time thought you were blowing it out of proportion, but now they see how painful it was for you. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to be real honest with you because I feel like they, they, all 10 swords got to come out at this point. Um, uh, they, they, they feel it now. They understand it now and they comprehend it now, right? We have the moon and we also have the seven of swords in this reverse with the bottom being the magician. Their intentions are to manifest communication and reach out to you. Do not expect it to be in the best possible way. I see the fear of rejection making this person apprehensive about giving their all. Um, one of the things that I was saying, be wrong, like it's maybe a text saying, hey, or what's up? Not something like, this is how I feel now. Don't bother. Don't even expect that. You won't get it. You're going to get that. Are you talking to this person? They avoid what happened. Um, know that they're saving it. All right. Um, it just follow your heart and know that if you feel it's right, then it is, um, doesn't mean it's right forever, but I am seeing your heart knowing exactly what you should do and how you should handle it with the seven of swords and it's reversed here in the magician. They're worried hmm, about having shown you a side of them. That's not them or a side of them that they think you wanted instead. I see them this person wearing masks with you. Um, uh huh, disguising themselves at times with you, presenting themselves as a certain way, when in fact they have a very different energy, very okay, by the way, but they have a fear that you may not like who they are, or you may have liked that version of them. I think you were looking deep down no matter what, and what you're going to see is what you're going to love, but they have a fear because they've changed a lot. They transformed a lot, and they've released a lot of 
a lot of what's not them. Um, I am seeing friends as well being a really big impact to this person's like identity that they've released. And they're now helping this person find out who they are deep down. It's interesting. Um, Metatron just said that when we have people in our life, uh, they hold us in frequencies that we're not meant to be at. And when we release them, will we go back to our normal frequencies? So I see this person having released friends, family, um, energies from their life that needed to go. Um, and they're helping them discern who they are and how they truly feel. Very crazy. Um, Metatron gave that um, as just a message for someone. Okay, so let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo energy. Is there any other intentions that they have right now to Virgo? Let's get a couple of these. I'd like to do that. Enlightenment. Yeah. They're going to show you they've changed. Um, they have. You know, these are real big things. But they don't think you will see it because when we go through our changes, we, when we look in the mirror, it seems very slow. Hmm? It seems... um. Hmm. It, it, it seems very slow. You know, it, it's it's honestly, huh, it kind of reminds me, uh, I don't like using this example per se, but it's a good example. Um, when we lose weight, right, you know, we don't notice we're losing weight, but our family does. They notice that, you know, they, they see that the, the drastic change. Um, this person has changed drastically, but they don't see that they've changed that much. Um, so they're a little insecure about you not seeing it. Um, hmm. I'm sorry, it's a, it's vanity as well. You know where it's coming from. Um, anyway, let's get a little bit of tissue box. So let's see, is there anything else, Metatron, for Virgo, Virgo energy? I recommend you read, you watch Aries for those of you that have Aries placements. Um, okay, let's leave it like that. So we have letters. I want to do letters first. We have you. I am getting university. That's really standing out to me. Um, that you could have met this person at a university, or you could, uh, or that could be significant. We have a decrease. Um, what's interesting, uh, what's really helped this person grow and heal, Virgo, was this person decreasing their attention they were giving to your connection. And I know it sounds crazy, but all the energy they were spending on it, all the energy they were thinking about and holding it, right? Um, they're now investing it into themselves. And it's what caused this person to gain enlightenment and to gain a higher perspective. Um, know that it wasn't... Hmm, know that it wasn't anything bad, all right? There was no... Um, real reasons sorry there was no nefarious reason why they did that we have concoxonite um i actually need to look for my concoxonite um this is one of the best stones to remove like programmed thinking from our minds um i may actually find it and sleep with it tonight um uh one of the best ones i will give it sorry i want to show you i remember i got it when i first started my spiritual oops my spiritual um path concoxonite was one of the very first things i used yeah Oh, God, it's not going to, is it? Oh, well. Oh, well. I will concoct tonight. You, you got it. Um, that will help move remove default programming. Um, I would sleep with it in your bed, though. Underneath your pillow, we have the North Node. Um, this is for you, uh, Virgo, making sure that you're moving towards your purpose and what you came here to do. Most of our fulfillment, 9 out of 10 of it, comes from our purpose. Comes from fulfill. Uh, yeah, comes from our purpose. Um, th the rest is gravy, all right? Uh, we have silence coming through as well. Um, there is need for more silence. Um, I am seeing energies. Um, hmm. I am seeing uh, distractions that are keeping you from settling into your body. Don't let that happen anymore. Settle into the wisdom of your body and hear the messages that your body has to say to you. Okay. Um, let's get a little bit more. We have hates coming through. This is about you changing their perspective. What is the hate a reference to? Mm. You don't like that they're not as strong as you would. Uh, yeah. As, as strong as you would like. Um, it's, it's, I'm going to leave it like that. There's this, it's a feeling we have watching. Yeah. You hate that they watch, that they, you can feel their energy. You hate that they think about you, talk about you, um, reminisce about you, like you, you, and they're not taking action. Um, know that you can close that door anytime you want. We have two, two, two coming out again. I thought I saw that earlier, but it could have been for another sign. Balance out your masculine and your feminine energies. That's really key for you. Um, it's the 10th chakra, if I'm not mistaken. And we have decisions. This is actually really important for you. It's also coming as guidance. Um, making decisions in your life is how we take control. Um, you need to make some choices from your heart that help you take control of your life. So let's see. Um, I heard destiny, uh, control of your destiny. So let's look a little bit more at that really quickly for guidance. Okay. Can I have guidance, please, for Virgo? What is the guidance for Virgo? Again, don't forget to like and comment. Check out my services. Guidance for the Virgo viewers. All righty. So we have memories coming through. Mm. Okay. Um, 
whatever you're in doubt of your strength, look at the memories of other things that you've that you've done. I know that anything that your future throws, sorry, the world throws at you, universe throws at you, you can handle. Um, we have re-energize as well. Yeah, I already know what this is you're doing. Um, it's funny. You need help. Um, and I often use my memories, my past, my past experiences to draw on for strength, to for fulfillment or even energy. Um, you need to do something like that. It's going to help you out a lot. Time traveling stands out, but I feel like it's memories from this life that would help you the most. Um, we have solitude. Yeah, they're the ones you'll get. Some of you have unhealed stuff that you need to work out. It will naturally come through. Sorry, the air came out. With this ask for help, you may have, uh, you may be some, drawn to someone that you want to work with or people that you want services from, even a therapist, all that stuff. Um, go to them. Know that they're being, you're being guided to them for a reason. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Why is that cl coming through? It will help and facilitate the rebirth you're trying to go through um, and an energy you're trying to capture. And, and, and sorry, it's not capture. And energy you're trying to be in. And I feel like it's your own energy. All right. I want to thank you, Virgo. Don't forget to like and comment and check out all of my services and take care. Bye.